Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Lumin Droid OS based on Android 16 for Redmi Note 8. And I have been using this ROM few days now. It is AOSP based and unofficial ROM. So as you can see here, Lumin Droid for Jinko unofficial. And you can flush it on Willow too, but NFC might not work. And as you can see here, security patch level is 1st October 2025. And that's all actually here. And the UI is a little different than usual AOSP based ROM as you can see here looks good and I kind of like AOSP based ROM but many of you actually asking me to review custom UI based ROM but there is no custom ROM available on custom UI if I get one uh, maybe I will review so the control panel is similar nothing new here actually and as far as customization goes we do get few customization option here status bar option is available as you can see here quick setting buttons and the lock screen miscellaneous option is also available like we do get unlimited storage for google photos all those things are available here and it is not really that much heavy in terms of customization but you are getting all the basic customization option here in terms of network connectivity wi-fi bluetooth bo lt bo wi-fi working and you can turn on both Wi-Fi and hotspot together, no issue. App section. So we do get clone apps, game space, but no app lock option here. Maybe in the security panel. Notification, pretty much similar to all other SP based ROM. Sound and vibration, working well, no issue. We do get Dolby Atmos, but no parade volume control option here. As you can see modes option is available in the display section we do get adaptive brightness and double tap to work and double tap to sleep all these things are working wallpaper and style so we do get clock options as you can see here and in the more wallpapers option we do get AI wallpaper and emoji workshop and few defaults google's wallpapers as you can see here in the more lock screen setting we are getting all the typical settings here and no AOD storage by default android 15 or 16 based rom takes 15 gb of storage backup and copy data battery so the battery backup is quite good i haven't faced any drain issue and fast charging is also available on this rom and we do get charging control option, battery information and few other things. In the system setting, we do get all the typical settings and there is no Xiaomi parts option. Security and privacy, we get both face and finger pin unlock. No issue at all, actually they are working well. And we do get private space advanced protection in the more security and privacy setting we do get all the typical setting theft protection extended unlock sim lock and all those things so one thing which is missing on this rom is app log option so app log option is not available and we do get location which is working well and few other things so pretty much similar to all other osp based rom in terms of application I did install free application here just to try out and we are getting Gcam Go which does work well and we do get lens switching option so it is working and you can install Gcam Gcam is also working so cameras work in terms of phone call so it is using default Google's wallpaper so Bo LT, Bo Wi-Fi video call and voice recorder working but as it is using google dialer so it will notify you when you record call that is one of the downside in terms of google photos so as i said unlimited storage is available as you can see here and fortunately we do get magic editor support so magic editor is also working here It does take time but it works so 
so it is working and in terms of safety net we do get safety net with this rom so bank apps payment application will work but as i always say don't use any kind of payment application on a customer rom so as you can see here web product certification device is certified so no issue at all and we do get dolby atmos option and fm radio all these things are working well no issue at all other features like we do get circle to search and it is working and lastly in terms of gaming so the gaming performance was not really good i did see some frame drop and lag while i was playing game which i was not expecting from aosp based custom rom but anyway if you are someone who plays game on your device you can skip this rom and try other roms for others this is a quite good rom no issues at all i mean major issue so quite smooth and it works actually so the rom link will be in the description below if you want to try this rom that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one